Guys, I just got the new Benelli Ethos Cordoba Best 28 gauge. Let's check it out. First off, we're gonna start with the cost. The MSRP on this gun is like $23.99, so it is pricey. And honestly, I had no anticipations, no desires to pay that much for a 28 gauge. I've wanted one for about three years now and seen this one, looked into it, studied it, looked at what else was out there, and really, honestly, for what I want, this lined up. It's three inch, shoots three inch shells, two and three quarter to three inch shells. It's a 28 gauge. 28 inch barrel, which right now I'm kind of like, man, maybe I should have got the 26, but anyways, it's so light, guys. Uh, besides the price, like, I'm a I'm a browning guy, okay? Like, it was really hard for me to buy this gun. For one thing, Benelli, I know, has had issues with the Benelli click. Um, I've seen some other things with the, the barrels bulging, and I know a lot of Benelli guys are going to get irritated, probably the stuff that I'm saying. A uh, brand new SBE2 that I shot in Canada jammed on its first rounds, so like, I ain't gonna lie, have I had a little bit of like hesitation with Benelli? That being said, I know they make good guns, guys. I'm not trying to bash Benelli at all. I mean, I bought one, for goodness sake, if that doesn't tell you something. But I know they fixed a lot of issues they've had in the past. But I'm a Browning guy through and through. I love my Browning A5, and if they made it in 28 gauge and a 20 gauge for hunting purposes, I would buy that. But I've been one one for three years, and I can't wait no longer on Browning. Gotta get the. Benelli and honestly, I'm really happy with this gun so far. I've shot it about 75 rounds through it I think and I'm really happy with it honestly So I just want to go through and give a review of this gun It's not really an unboxing video because if it's unboxing you're just like first thoughts of it But I have shot this I've actually went on a pigeon hunt with this and really had a good time and shot once I got used to it I shot really well with it. I already said the price. We know it's astronomical. It's a lot of money for a gun I mean this was more than my browning but i had been saving up and i'd been wanting one for a while so i pulled the trigger no pun intended first off the weight 5.4 pounds that's insane guys that's so light you can tell it's really well balanced very light really easy to throw up easily handing handling it almost feels like you're almost using a toy gun to be honest with you it's kind of crazy how light it is it's a semi-automatic shotgun, inertia driven, and I've always had inertia guns. I've shot gas before, they're cool, I like them, but there's other things about them that I'm not a big fan of, but I really like inertia, I trust them, they've always worked for me. It comes with five chokes, it comes with a cylinder, improved cylinder, modified, improved, modified, and full. Um, I got the modified in here now and on that pigeon hunt that I did and you can check that video out here I use this choke, but I am a full guy and I'm gonna try the Rob Roberts choke out You know pattern master doesn't make the choke that I want the code black duck for the 28 gauge I don't believe kicks does yet now when I call pattern master They said hey if we get enough guys like you to call in about the choke for this gun uh, Maybe we'll make one so I'm been calling them every day trying to act like a different person to get them to make a choke because I really like the code black duck but Anyways, for now, we'll just use the cryo chokes. And cryo's definitely good, I know that. But uh, I've just kind of got that thing now, mindset for the Power Master Code Black Duck. I'd probably be switching this choke out for full because that's just what I like to shoot, whether they're 10 yards or 40 yards. I like shooting a full choke. A big seller on this gun for me was the best, the Benelli Surface Treatment. That coating that is on here is phenomenal. And if you do the studies, um, they left it in a salt water chamber with other brands for three months guys in a salt water chamber just getting doused by salt water sprayed by it dried heated all these different things you can check that video out on youtube just look it up uh, best treatment it's phenomenal there was still no signs of rust or corrosion after three months whereas all the other ones were completely rusted over and just a quick overview of what that treatment is and I'll read it from their site. It is a hybrid physical vapor deposition, PVD, and plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition technology that applies a protective coating to parts. And it's cool because the process utilizes electricity, radio frequencies, and plasma in a high vacuum environment to deposit a solid coating. The insane thing is they have a 25 year warranty on this best coating. That's insane, that's unheard of 
for a shotgun for a company to cover something for that long. Areas that are treated with the best are the barrel, the barrel extension, the bolt, bolt handle, extended choke, safety, stud, the trigger, and the trigger pin. So that's everything that's coded in that. So it's not every single thing on here, but it's a, it's quite a bit of it actually. One of the next things I really like about it, and that's why I was hesitant, a lot of shotguns I throw up when I shoulder them, I'm looking down on top of them, or you kind of got to tilt, tilt your head over. It just don't shoulder right. You're not looking directly down the barrel when you throw it up. But when I throw this gun up, because of that raised carbon fiber rib, I know it feels weird when someone points a shotgun at you, even though it's on a screen, right? So I'll let you look. Down, you can see how much it's raised. Man, it just it's just right there. And I will say that I didn't know that before I bought it. And I was nervous about that, but when I got it and threw it up on my shoulder, I was like, okay, perfect. Because I just knew I wanted a 28 gauge, so believe it or not, I didn't really go get to see one in person because no one really carries these. I was actually fortunate to get this one. It's just got the typical red red bead on the front, and this is a carbon fiber ribbon, so I'm kind of a little bit nervous because if you listen, I know because it's, it's carbon fiber, it can't be welded on, but now I'm like, hopefully that doesn't happen. That would be really a bummer. The next thing is the ported barrel. There's two portings on this barrel. It really helps with muzzle jump and it helps minimize recoil. But I will say this, so I like that factor, right? So you can get back on target really quick. The only thing is the other day we were doing some training with our dogs, Kelly and Rocky, and you know, actually shooting and taking blanks out there and stuff. Well, when I held it, I instead of throw shoulder it because we're just training, I just, I kind of shot up and held it like right here. And I will tell you the muzzle blast that I got from that, I couldn't even believe it. It wrung my ears so bad, which I know if I'm shooting a gun, I should be wearing hearing protection and I really want to get better at that. And I got to change that this year during duck season, but it wrung my ears so bad. I've shot 20 gauges that never did that. So this definitely, if you got a buddy next to you, even if they're four or five feet away, I still think it's going to kind of ring their ears a little bit. So that definitely, I've noticed it is a lot louder than I thought it would be because of this porting on the barrel. I've loaded different shells in this thing, have had no issues. So far it cycles when you're shooting, man, it cycles bam, bam, bam. I mean, there's no issues and I've shot like three or four different brands. This year for duck hunting, I will be shooting the three inch six shot heavy 12. And that's just my personal preference. That's what I wanted to shoot when I, I knew when I got a 28 gauge that I was gonna shoot the heavy 12. Another little feature they have that doesn't really matter to me to be honest with you, but it's kind of a cool little talking point is they do have a sight window to see how many shells that you have loaded in that's on the bottom i will say the recoil obviously 28 gauge it's there's not much recoil and it's so nice you can shoot this all day long and you don't even feel no soreness or like you can't even tell that you shot just to throw this in there guys check out our podcast one of the guests that we've had on recently was tony vandemore and he has this gun he had it, bought it last year and he was telling us how much he loves this 28 gauge and so we have a lot of things like that waterfowl big game all kinds of subjects that we talk about check it out the mvm show you can find it on any platform on the stock they have what's called the comfort tech and basically what that is that it's the first of their kind they said it's been around for about 13 years now it's these chevrons on the side and that's just to help the recoil system also they have what's called the comb tech up here on the comb and it's really nice it's, it's soft to where you don't get that cheek slap and so a lot of times if you get cheek slap it's because your gun you're not shouldered properly or maybe you're not fitted to the gun right so i know you can get cheek slap but i've been fitted right to guns and still get that and that's kind of nice to have that option on there to lessen the impact that the comb of the gun has on your cheek there's really nothing else to talk about i think i covered everything so like i said check out our podcast if you guys haven't um, I think this is going to be a solid gun. Like I said, I put about 100 shells through it. I had no issues with it. I really like shooting it. Accuracy, it shoots really well for me. Like I said, I've shot Federal. I've shot different ammunitions through it. We will be doing a pattern test on this very, very soon. Like I said, I'm going to try the Rob Roberts against the cryo chokes on here and see what kind of patterns I can get. And then I'll stick with that, with the ammo that I'm shooting. If you guys have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, ask your questions down below in the comments. I'll try to get to them the best I can, as quick as I can, like I always do. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Don't mind me, I'm just filming a video. You're good. Yeah, go on, go ahead, dude. I don't want to scare you, I'm sitting here holding the gun. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's what happens when you live under an airport, you have planes that fly over.